notes menu options in the financial statements. In this video, we will look at options available in the notes menu, including period and wording, various note and policy heading, note dividers, note reference formatting, options for displaying browses, and links to working papers and other caseware files. To access the options, open the settings area by clicking on the settings folder icon. The first option, period and wording. Click on the drop down for the list of options. Either select one, or enter your own. Let's quickly take a look at the notes page headings with this default option. The heading with the default option of year ended. Let's change this to include the prefix for the year ended. The heading when printed. The first available option for the note headings is bolded or unbolded. They are set to unbolded. Click to switch the setting. With it now bolded, let's quickly take a look at the difference in appearance. Headings unbolded. And now bolded. The next setting is upper or lower case text. The headings are set to upper case. Click on the button to switch to lowercase. Let's take a look at the difference in appearance of these two options. Uppercase note headings. Lowercase note headings. There are two options for the policy headings. The first is font and underline style. It is set to unbolded with underline. Click on the drop down to change styles. For this example, select bold and italics with underline. Let's take a look at the difference in appearance. The appearance before the change. The appearance after. The second option for the policy headings is numbering. Click the button to switch between unnumbered and numbered. Let's take a look at the presentation. Policies not numbered. That are now numbered. Next option is the note dividers. These are dividing lines between the notes. They are presently on. Click to turn them off. Now that the dividers are off, let's take a look at the difference in presentation. The statements in form mode with the note dividers on. A print preview. The statements in form mode, with the note dividers off. Next are the note reference format options. For single references, the default text before the note reference is bracket note. Click to view other options. You may choose from these, or enter your own, custom text. The default text after the note reference is a closing bracket. Click to see the available options. In this case, it is only a closing bracket or a blank space. You can enter your own 
Custom text. For plural references, the default text before the note reference is bracket notes. Click for other choices. Choose from these, or enter your own. Next is what appears between the note references. The default is a comma. Click on the drop down for a list of the available options. Make your selection. What appears before the last reference? The default is a comma. Click for the list. Choose one or enter your own. Lastly, what appears after the last reference? The default is a closing bracket. Click to view the list. Choose from the list, or make your own. Now let's take a look at these note references on the balance sheet. A single note reference. Plural note references. Let's try different wording for the note references. Click on the drop down to make another selection. Select the bracket C note option. Click for plural references. Click the second line. Let's see how they appear on the balance sheet. Modified single note reference. Modified plural note. The next option is to include, or exclude, all accounts with a zero balance from being displayed in the browse window. When linking a line in the note to the trial balance, click the drop down. If you wish to include zero balances, change the selection. Now let's take a look at these two options in the Browse window. When Filter Zero Balances is selected, no accounts are displayed, when the balances in both periods are zero. When Show Zero Balances is selected, all accounts are displayed, including those where the balances in both periods are zero. If you experience any issues with launching these Browse windows, you can use this button to reload the browsers from the resource center. Lastly, you can adjust the settings to link notes to external entities, external caseware files. Click on the link to JASET Working Papers drop down to change the selection. Select Yes. You can then specify which external entities you wish to be able to link to. The entity is displayed. The path is also displayed. Once the external links have been set up in the Notes menu, a linking column is displayed in individual notes. In this column, select the external entity to connect to. Then you can select the item from the working paper in the external file. In this video, we looked at the options available in the Notes menu. Period and wording. Note and policy heading. Note dividers. Note reference formatting options on the balance sheet. Options for displaying browsers. Linking to statements in other case where files, external entities, for example consolidations. We also looked at how the notes link to these external files once the linkage has been established in the notes menu. case where should be easy. Find out how. Visit us at chazid.com.